Hi guys, Train here, and um, bringing you a little something different today. Uh, bringing you some 4v4 class setup, guys. So I'm going to go through my classes and uh, explain why I have what I have and uh, what it kind of, well, what it helped, well, why I have it, basically. Yeah. So uh, we're going to create a class. We'll start with the first class. Um, so I name my classes just for ease of use really some people just have custom class one two three four five which is, i've got no problem with that but i just use mine out of ease of use so um we start first with the smg roles if i decide to play smg on a game um i'll be tending to use this class a bit more the pp90 more for the uh the rate uh, fire rate more than on any other gun um so if i can bring out the stats really the fire rate is besides the pm9 which is pretty poo to be fair um don't know why though, because it's got just the highest stats of fire rate and everything else is the same as the PM, uh, PP9, so I may have to try that out later. Um, but as you can tell, everything else is... It, the PP90 pretty much matches all of them, besides mainly on the recoil, I would say, when playing in-game. Um, so I, I tend to equip that with range due to the fact that I do also like to play the support SMG and maybe even support AR but with an SMG as well so it's good at picking off those long range headshots as well uh, then the typical secondary of the 44 Magnum attack knife uh, good for vanity cup, um, vanity cup knife rounds as well even though I have not won a single one of them frag and, sem uh, frag and concussion I use frags because I prefer the fact that they roll rather than semtexes which stick you can also throw frags further and through tiny little holes that maybe get the lucky bounce as well uh, and concussions because I am a noob and in um, WGL dessert and dessert overall sets you can only use concussions and smoke. Uh, then my class up is the typical 4v4 SMG setup, extreme conditioning, quick draw and dead silence and then with hollow points there uh, have assault strike package selected mainly for lag tests and also for the 6v6 mix mode which WGL do which that will come in a later video. Moving on to the second CTF class is more of the holding uh, like maybe a bit more of a support and uh, SMG or maybe just having to have like a lighter gun to play a, 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 a AR, more AR suited role so um, this the MP7 with range as you know it doesn't move at all with kick or anything the gun just doesn't move when you look down the sights that's why I tend to use the MP7 no one's, uh, I have no attachments on the, on the first two guns as well you may see red dot on that is ridiculous because of the recoil uh, and people tend to use red dot or suppressor on the MP7, but I don't like suppressor because it takes away the um, range, and it also seems to take away some of the damage as well. It won't show that on the stats, I don't think. Let's have a quick look. Uh, no, it just takes away the range. It doesn't really take away the range that much that it says there, but I just feel it doesn't do much for the damage. Uh, and then the same cl class up as the last one, except for the use of smoke. So also, I also tend to use this class as well if. Oh, I may be rushing with an SMG on C on S and D maybe, or uh, just fancy like maybe covering an objective before we're about to pull it, playing that support role again, and everything else is the same. We now move into my preferred role of the game, which is playing holding AR and um, well playing AR in general. I can play either way. Um, we have the ACR red dot with impact. A lot of people tend to uh, chuck around a few proficiencies on this, so I'm just going to go through which ones I feel are best. Um, I obviously feel best is impact because it shoots for a lot of things. You don't really need anything that will stop recoil. Um, maybe if you're playing holding, you may look at getting focus or maybe even stability as well. If you're looking down, maybe for, especially for S and D, you may like uh, stability as well because you're looking down your sights quite a lot. And the red dot does it. If you kind of are really anal about it, like I am, um, the the red dot does tend to move around quite a lot as well. I do see a lot of people using focus and a fair a few here and there between using stability but I prefer impact just for the fact that I am a wall bane whore. Um, then we've also got the 44 Magnum, frag concussions then so the first perk which you see it's swapped around quite a lot. I used to run extreme conditioning on my holding AR on like a plan holding AR just for the fact that I also like to be a bit more attacking. Um, and like to be, I do like to be very aggressive when I play holding AR and probably play holding maybe sitting mid map. That sounds a bit weird, but it does work and sometimes it doesn't work. So I do get moaned at quite a lot by my team for doing that. So.
uh, and you can kind of basically it's more to get get rid of the enemy equipment because they start to lob it thinking you're there and they start also to think that they're going to run through you could also fake them out and make them run through and then you pick off the easy kill from the stairs next we have scavenger the reason I use scavenger is like I said I like to go for the wall bangs I like to go for any possible shots I can hit on people if I see that and then uh, I do also with just the standard um, standard weapon amount it just a few games in a row I uh, tend to run out of ammo so um, I don't know why but I just thought scavenger just to be a bit extra comfortable it can be a bit of a problem with those sound whores out there but um, I just t don't really tend to see it initially. I also like to play like underground. I play back in spawn watching behind as well. Uh, and it's just there just in case I need it really. And then the same again. And S&D final class. The MSR suppressor. Now if I could get a gameplay up here. I may try and get one up later. I'll show you what I can do with this gun. And I did pick off in at I-46 in the mix up cup. A lovely two piece kill cam with this on lockdown. CTF is mainly used for that class, pushing out a church on the attacking spawn and picking off the kills on uh, the balcony, also pushing through church side as well. So I kind of equip that with impact again. Um, don't really need any recoil or any other like speed. Some people use speed for it, I don't really tend to need it. Um, smokes as well, pretty much necessary. I can see through them, they can't see me. Especially when pushing out that church side. Also use them a fake out a lot as well. If I can get some gameplay up of that. I don't reckon I do have any of that though. Uh, then we've got extreme conditioning, quick draw and dead silence. So that's just to get to the position. A lot of extreme conditioning just to get to the, uh, the place I need to be a lot quicker. Quick draw obviously for that quick scope in newbiness right there. With the quick draw and dead silence as normal. Um, as you know like um, DeSerto looking into. Oh, I think DeSerto taking sit rev out of there or on. Uh, made it banned on their rule set now it's banned on the WGL so you can maybe see like maybe I don't know it's banned on MLG or GB but um, you can see some people using sit rep it's, I don't really tend to use it but yeah so that's it for today guys I uh, hope you're watching I'll bring you some more tips and tricks videos coming soon on some of the maps when I get a few more guys to help out and also some gameplays with WGL live listening and also game over returning in a few weeks time I've had a very a few busy weeks now so kind of getting back on schedule